Hey everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Just about 20 minutes to go until the top of the hour. Enough time though for us to jump into our fashion segment. Today we're going to be talking about casual suits for men. And uh, with me here in studio, I have Victor Maina from Vic Suits. Karibu sana to the show. Thank Looking you. good as always. And you're going to be telling us about your look in just a few moments here. Mm. But um, what is this whole idea about casual suiting? Uh, wanaume sikuizi ya wapendi hizo walikuwa na ma three piece katai kamenyonga huku juu is that like going out of trend or is it just reserved for a certain type of gentleman or a certain uh, event yeah, i think um thank you for hosting me back you're welcome um yeah it, it's reserved it's not out of trend mm -hmm. uh, it depends with what you do okay so most men are in, most men are in business so most of the time, unless it's a very official business, you don't have to have a full official look. Yeah. But for that official job, maybe you have an office job, suits cannot go out of market. Yeah. But most young men are getting into businesses. That's okay. why they are dressing down, so but still, still looking look awesome. Serious and professional. Yes. But you don't need to be. But you don't have formal. to be completely formal. Yeah, because I feel like before Wanome, they only had two things in their wardrobe. <laughs> it was either a full suit, ile ya unafanya kazi pa office. Grey. Ama nizo shorts na yo t-shirt ya big five animals. I know. Na na alafu kuna kashati arura show ile African. I know. That that your wife forces you to wear. So it's, it's nice to change. see that also the men's wardrobe is evolving yeah, sure. and that there's now an in between. I yes, guess there's an in between. An, an in yes, between. yes. Okay, well you have a couple models here for us. So we're going to get the first look on uh just about now just to fully understand what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. So come on in. All right. And let's oh. take a look at this one. Tell me about this look. So this is just a simple look. Mm -hmm. He's not official and he's not casual. Okay. So it's just a smart casual look. Yeah. So maybe for example he's going on a weekend trip and he needs to look traveling and at the same time he might sign some few checks. Okay. So this is just a look for it. <laughs> All right. So with a bag and then a banker the jacket with a just a nice accessory like a pocket square. Okay. It does not necessarily have to match with the shirt. Yeah. So and then there's some nice fitting jeans with some boots. Yes. You know men men and boots and brownish yeah. they always go hand in hand. So, so boots are really on trend now. Even yeah, the fitted jeans. But I I mean what about those who are self conscious about their legs? And if they can wear these skinny pants? They can't wear their pants. If they feel it it's the Yeah, skinny. sure. There are some guys who truly really don't do that skinny pants. So there's still an allowance for that. Okay. Yeah, we still do both. But for a nice look you don't have to make it too tight. It yeah. still has an allowance. So it could be like a slim fit. Yeah, it's like a slim fit. Okay. But it still has an allowance. Okay. But it's just a simple look, not to look too serious. And at the same time, you still don't want to look like you're going for a party. Yeah. So it's just a nice, casual, official look. Okay. Yeah. And maybe we can have him turn just so we can see this elbow detail. Um, what do you yeah, call as this you thing on see, the elbows? Yeah, as you can see, the patched elbows. Patched elbows. Yeah, so they really look amazing. So mm -hmm. as I told you last time, you don't have to do a slit sometimes with a with a casual jacket, mm -hmm. but sometimes you can do like mine. Mm -hmm. So especially this too much informal, like heavy woolen. Yeah. You don't have to do a slit. Okay. So you can maybe just just do the patched. You can just do the patched elbows. Okay. And then it will be perfect to go. You can turn back yeah. around. Um, and this, as you've mentioned, this is a woolen jacket. Yeah, this is a woolen so jacket. There are seasons, though, to wear this. Like, you wouldn't be rocking this in December. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right? Definitely. So, this is for a colder month. Yeah, for a colder month. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a great look. And he yeah, has sure. his bag there. He's ready to go. And I know. So far, and you said, and I sign know. some checks. And sign some checks. And at, and at the same time, have some fun. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. As <laughs> na madem, basi. Hiya. Thank you very much. Thank He's going to go change and, and show us another look. But yeah. we have another model here and uh, he's ready to show us his look so yeah, sure. come on over wow and yeah in the casual smart. i know Where? So, sneakers i know so as you can see it d also depends with the age group because mm -hmm. guys are from the 20s 30s 40s so this is a look for he can go for a party and he's still looking casual he can go out so it's just a collection of 
you see like the jacket like the baby pink jacket yeah. it's like a purple it makes him look like a gentleman Okay. Without looking serious. <laughs> I was going to ask you that because a lot of guys will be like pink I know. or purple. I and know. you're saying it makes him look like a gentleman. I, I don't know. know if my cameraman here would agree or if any of the gentlemen in the studio Guys nowadays are very bold, as yeah, I told you, you last time. Yeah, guys are wearing a lot more colors that would typically I know. considered more feminine. Eventually, they'll trip you guys off. Uh, yeah. So, guys are getting bolder. <laughs> so, the jacket makes him look a bit a gentleman. Because if okay. he chucks it, he, will look, he can look like in his 20s. Okay. So, if he puts it on... He looks a bit mature in his okay. 30s. Yeah. So you seriousness. can play with the colors, the the light blue jeans, and then with the sneakers. Is there a science towards this color blocking? I mean, because in all sense of the word, this is a pretty bright outfit. Yeah, sure. I mean, the, yeah, the, sure. the blue pants, are sure, it's sure. a pretty bright yeah, blue. Yeah, sure. And then it's a beautiful shade of this pink, yeah, by sure. the way. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, is there any sort of science to color blocking an outfit? For gentlemen okay color the the only essence of color blocking is to make you look stylish okay because if he turns down like he do a navy pant he will just completely turn down yeah so he can't look he he's be restricted yeah. with his events okay there are some places he won't go okay so but he tries to maintain the colors to appeal to younger generation okay. and, and the jacket to appeal to an older generation so he no nam to hadi miaka mingapi anezava he look up to 40s Miss G, kwa nina wana Jimmy Wanjiki. <laughs> even guys, I'm getting like Jimmy Wanjiki vibes. But you know, okay. Yeah, even guys at 40s. 40s are dressing it. Okay. Yeah, when they go to their events and they, they look sharp in it. All right. Yeah, with the sneakers now. Tell me about the shoes though. Yeah. So the previous one you had a boot. Yeah, the, the, the previous one you had a boot. Mm -hmm. So this is a sneaker. Mm -hmm. As you can see, he has a bright jeans. Yeah. So there's no way you can do a bright color sometimes, especially the pants. Yeah with uh, very official shoes okay. so he has to do some sneakers to brighten the color it's like the way chicks do this pinkish jeans and then yeah. sneakers yeah so <laughs> the more the color of the pants sometimes the brighter the shoe yeah okay. the brighter the shoe let's let's see the back um this has that i really like this jacket yeah though. so this jacket as i told you now this it's a, it's a different fabric fabric mm -hmm. it's like a cotton mixed with polyester mm -hmm. so this one you can do a slit because okay. it's very light okay so at least it can it can play with the bag okay so you can rock it in a very smart casual way or too casual like he's looking yeah. and still look awesome and dapper okay yeah all right and where yeah. would one wear this look you'd say like over the weekend maybe yeah over the weekend obviously over the weekend okay yeah sure all right, we can have you turn uh, to the front one more time so that we can mm. see this look. Yeah, that's the uh, So you see the, the, the black top is toning down the too much color. Right. Yeah, if you had done a brighter top inside, it could have been too much details and yeah. too much busyness. Yeah. So you just tone the inside and then you pop out the outside. So okay. it will drop the full attack. And okay. then obviously the pocket square. Yeah. As you can see, it has some shades of the baby pink and, and the blue. And even the blue. Yeah, yeah, the blue with the jeans. Yeah. yeah okay, so like always that. try and find a way to connect. Yes, the they look. always find a way to connect. Okay, well, yeah, thank sure. you very much. Thank you. Um, I don't want you to sit down yeah, because sure. I want you to now explain <laughs> <laughs> to explain your look to us. Now, this one, you look like you're signing checks. For yes, this. now this one now. This one now is, a, is an office look. And at the same time, not really office, mm -hmm. but you can still sign checks. You can meet your clients mm -hmm. with a look. Mm -hmm. It can go to any generation, to your 50s and 60s okay. without yeah, yeah. missing the look. For sure. So as you can see, the colors are toned down yeah. with my shirt. The shirt is black. Of shoes. course, the, the shoes are black. The, the pants are grayish, bluish, mm -hmm. that grayish, bluish color. So to go with the look and then of course, so that you don't have to look so official, you have to pop, pop at a color. color. Okay. Yes, to okay. make it look awesome, yeah. And your pocket square, I guess, is picking up the black. Yes. So as much as it's a different shade of blue. It, there's uh, some connection in it. picking up the black yes. from the shirt. Yes. That light color sort the, of the reflects bluish, the pants. Yes, yes. Let's see the back of yours then. So the back so is the same. it's also the double cut. Yeah, it has the double cut. Uh -huh. So it makes it a bit official too. As you can see. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I mean, with all of these, as you turn back around, mm -hmm. and feel free to sit down now. Sure, thank um, you. With all of these, I'm seeing the fit is also very important. Yeah, like the these fit. fit you really, really sure. well. The fit is important because sometimes people take you the way you look. For older guys, I don't mind. Maybe in your 50s, I don't mind having to a bit of allowance. Mm -hmm. But for younger generation, 
the fit really works. It shows people you really know what you're doing. Okay, and you're confident. Yeah, you're confident. So if you had meet me with some khakis that are really baggy, you'll be like, you are a designer. You really know what you're doing, really. Yeah. So you, according to what you do, you have to show people you know what you're doing. Okay. With the fit, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and I guess still speaking about the fit then, mm -hmm. um, for those maybe who are larger in their body size, mm -hmm. A, a good fit is still important. It's very important. Okay. Even yes. for those who are, maybe they feel like they're too small. Because there was a point I feel like some guys will want to wear something big so that it makes, gives the illusion of yeah, them being true. bigger. But it seems like it works against them. There's also that point. For example, I have some clients who are very skinny. So you can't really fit that punt to their, yeah. to their size. So what you do, just give them some allowance to hide the skinniness. Okay. And still make sure they the artery is streamlined okay yeah all right yeah. well our model is back with a changed look so let's take a look at him now yeah. <laughs> straight from miami <laughs> all right tell me about this one so as you can see this is also a, a stylish look to some extent mm -hmm. and at the same time he's looking like a gentleman yeah so he has toned down so as from our previous look you can see the colors are a bit toned down yeah as you can see also the bag from the colors so with the navy jacket mm -hmm. it shows uh, some seriousness part of the the dress code mm -hmm. with the navy jacket and then you tone it down with some blue jeans mm -hmm. of course as i told you the now the top inside has now to pop out the other yeah. one was black yeah. This one is white because the outer part is a bit okay, dark. Okay, so pick something. Yeah, Either pick your something. outer part is yes. popping out or the, yes. or the inner, inner wear is now the one yes. with the pop of color. Sure. So and now you can make it a bit stylish with the pocket squares. You can see it has some navy like the jackets. Yeah. And of course with the shoes, it has to go with the bag. As okay. you can see also the color matches. Yeah. The white sole with the beige top. Yeah. And then the, the bag. So it really shows it's a guy who really knows what he's doing. Yeah. So this is also one of the of the looks okay and yeah, again sure. this one he's wearing it with jeans yeah he's wearing it with jeans mm -hmm. so in case he drops the bag he can really meet some guys and not feel out of out of the event yeah yeah okay and we can see the back of for this yeah, one sure it's just it's one so now this one has a single slit okay yeah so you can play with the slit okay. whichever angles matters from the shoulders okay. the way the shoulder formations right it can depend on how you can play with the slit okay. you can either to do the double for the official a single or no slit at all okay yeah all right well yeah. you can turn around and uh here is someone asking hey joyce please ask the stylist how much does the full outfit go for so for the four looks really that you've shown us yours yeah. included yeah um is there a sort of price range that one should expect to pay for these of course there's a price range but of course it depends with the kind of fabric you choose okay yeah so it's a lot of things combined so you can do uh, a cotton jacket or a, a super woolen jacket. Mm -hmm. Of course, a super woolen will be more expensive yeah. than the cotton jacket. The cotton so would be the most affordable. Yeah, it's most affordable. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, to you. our model here for showing that yeah. look there. Mm. And um, one thing that I've noticed with all of the looks that you've shown us is there's not been, all of them are separate pieces. Yeah. So the jacket and the pants have not matched anywhere. Sure. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not that there is a suit yeah, it's that not, you've just changed. Yeah, it's like not, every piece yes, is individual it's a, it's a on its own. It's individual piece. Mm. Yeah. That's part of this whole styling of for course casual Of course, it's part wear. of the styling thing. Because sometimes when you really match it, you also start going to the other side okay. of the too much official. Okay. Of course, there are some suits. I see some maroon suits, like top to bottom. But at the end of the day, they still end up looking a bit... Official. Official. So you have to be also a stylist <laughs> to know how to connect the, the pieces mm -hmm. to look awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now that's well, where the stylist come in. All right. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> now, now, go marketing team. Tower. <laughs> well, you can tell us how people can find you, Basti, <laughs> so, <laughs> for those who need some help. Yeah, sure. So my Facebook account uh, is Victor Minor, uh -huh. brackets Vic Suits. Uh -huh. And then my Instagram is Victor underscore Minor underscore Vic Suits. So are you a stylist or do you also Taylor. Yes, I'm a designer too. You are a designer yes, as well. Yes. So some of these are looks that you've actually sure. created. Yes, sure. Okay, very yeah, interesting. So yeah. you said Vic suits on Instagram. 
Yeah, Victor Mina and Victor underscore Mina underscore Vic Suits. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you guys can find him there. Thank you for thank coming. You thank much. you to the models as well Anytime. for coming on to the show. And Anytime. thank you to all of my guests who've been a part of the show today. I really appreciate them. And of course, you guys who've been watching the show. Asanteni Sana for your company does mean a lot. Let's do this again tomorrow for even more Full Circle with Joyce. And of course, remember to stay safe, wash your hands, and uh, don't panic. Let's just trust God for this whole situation to be resolved quickly. Until then, have yourselves a blessed day. I'll see you soon. Ciao.